Hello, Mr. Wadi here, and I am doing the stencil tutorials, lesson four. We're looking at variables, but before we looked at variables, that was game variables or global variables, this time we'll be looking at local variables, which only pertain to one level. And it's just a really good way of uh, good, good coding practice, cleaning things up, making things easier to edit. And uh, I'll be talking more about this in class. But let's open up our project and it tells us to run the game. Let's check it out. And in this uh, tutorial, we see, we, well, we run this game here and we see we can't even move. So in this tutorial, what we will be doing is adding a behavior and then making an attribute or a variable. Um, when, when I say variable, I mean attribute, when I say attribute, I mean variable, they're, they're interchangeable. Um, so making a, a local attribute that we can use to edit our uh, our walking speed. Okay, so we saw that we couldn't move our guy, so we have a behavior here. We want to attach that to our hero. Let's double click on our hero. Go to behaviors. Bottom left, we can add a behavior. We have only one option there, four-way movement, choose that. Let's test out our game, and as we test it out, I'm going to run, go down here, and open up four-way movement to look at the coding of it. Awesome, and we see our game is loaded. We can move in all four directions. That is amazing. Loving it. Okay. So now we're going to add a variable for walking speed. So, how do we do that? Well, we could follow the steps that they have right here for us. Or, maybe you can just listen to what I'm saying. Okay, go to attributes. Before we went to game attributes, we don't want to do that. We just want to stay at these uh, at getters, just stay at the far left. Let's go create attribute. And you see that this looks slightly different. I'm going to call this walking speed and type. See here we have a lot more options than before. Before we, I think we only have five options. Here we have a lot more. We want it to be a number because our x speed or velocity is a number. And just click OK on that. We see that this walking speed little blue tile here appears. And it suggests here now stick that blue walking speed block into the behavior so it represents the speed at which the character moves. Where do you think it goes? It goes into four places. So I suggest right now that you pause the video and that you try to put this in four different places here that uh, you think it would work out. All right, so where do you think you should put it? Well, you want walk, walking speed is going to be your velocity. So I think you have to put it in four different places where you have um, a number here. One thing you might notice is this is negative. So what you're going to have to do is actually use a multiplication block and go walking speed minus one. If there's a better way to do this, then uh, I s then please comment below and let me know. Walking speed, I'll put that straight up right there for ten. I'll, put, I'll cover that. Hold on Alt. You can drag this tile down and for. Uh, when you press the up, up key, it's negative. So let's run this, see what happens. So we have walking speed for moving right, negative walk speed for moving left, negative walk speed for moving up, positive for down. So I'm pressing all my arrow keys, nothing's happening. Well, you know what? We actually never uh, set any value for walking speed. So how do we do that? Well. If we go into the hero page, hero behaviors, we just have to reload it actually. So let's just close it down. I can close this down, why not? Go to the hero behaviors. We see now this attribute has now been added here. So that local attribute that we added within the behavior walking speed is now attached right here and we can edit it. Uh, let's put a 15, why not, and test game out. So we can see this is a 
you know, a quick and easy way that we can change the speed. Rather than before, we'd have to change four different places. Here, we just change one place, and look at that, I can move. It's beautiful. It's great. That makes me happy. That's awesome. That is clean. See, that, that is a much good coding practice to make it so you change one place here, and it changes all four directions. Otherwise, again, just to uh, reiterate what I was saying, otherwise we've got to change one, two, three, four different numbers, right? That would be a pain. And just as a mini challenge here, so suppose that we want to confuse a player by making the four-way movement act in reverse. So say, for example, you're playing a game, and sometimes there's like a confusion potion or something like that um, that reverses all the directions. Up would move down, down would move up, and so forth. Without changing the code and the four-way movement behavior, how would you accomplish this? Okay, so again, I suggest that you pause this video, try to figure it out for yourself, and uh, start to play it again, and I will solve it. So without changing this code. To change this code, yeah, you'd, you'd take away the negative and add negative there, right? We'd swap those around, but that's not what we want to do. We don't want to change the code. So very quickly, I'll tell you the answer right now. You add negative symbol to your walking speed. So when you're moving the positive direction before, now you're actually moving the direct negative direction. Let's test it out and just confirm that I'm correct. So here I hold on the left key. Look what's happened. I move right. I hold on the right key, and well, it's it's difficult to control exactly because everything's backwards. I, I you know, I, I just you try this out. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, what we did, we quickly went over some local variables. How you can add a variable within um, within a behavior to make things easier to edit. And again, this is good coding practice, and this is what uh, you know I'll be looking for in our assignments. And um, we added a four-way movement behavior. So thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.